Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Backyard Farm to Table. I'm Kelvin and today we're going to do some planting of corn again. Well, the first time I went to plant and this type of corn is called Des Moines KS Super Sweet. I got it from uh, Baker Creek Seeds. Uh, their website is rareseeds.com. And I actually bought two varieties uh, because here in uh, sunny South Florida, I can grow corn twice a year. So here's what I had decided to do. I watched a bunch of videos as per usual because this is my first time planting corn. And in the one video, from an individual I highly trust, I learned that I should take and soak my corn kernels for at least about eight hours or so. And that will help them to uh, absorb some water and sprout even quicker. Well, as life would have it, I put them in the cup, I put them in the water, I set it down, I set a timer, and things occurred and I couldn't get back to it until about 20 hours later. I said, oh, what harm could it have done? It's still soaking, it hasn't sprouted in there. So let's just go ahead and take it and put it inside the ground and see what happens. So I came out here, amended the soil, did the markings, set everything up because I learned that they should all be about a foot apart in each direction and that they pollinate one another uh, with the tassels as they blow in the wind uh, next to each other. So cool, we can do all of that. So I came out here, I did that, I set it all up and I did get some that sprouted, but not all. So now I'm hoping that it's not too late and that these others have time to catch up uh, before everything goes awry, but this will be my live and learn moment. So right now I've gone back through, I've marked the one to two inch depth, which on my finger, and that's a proper finger, is right here. So from the tip of my finger to right where my thumb is, is about two inches. That's how I like to set my dimples in the ground. So I've already done that. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and put this inside there. Now these were not pre-soaked. The packaging didn't say pre-soak, but I pre-soaked. Okay, so fingers crossed, these will come up and we'll have tons of corn. If not, it'll be lessons learned from this first batch and I'll know when I go and plant the second batch later this summer. All right, be right back where I'm gonna give you an update on how the corn is going. No need for you to sit there and watch me water it in, but make sure that because I put new seeds in there and this time these seeds aren't pre-soaked, they definitely need well watering. So until then, love yourself, love those around you. Thumbs up, thumbs down. God bless America, I like them both. Subscribe, leave your comments, ring the bell so you'll know when the next update 
on this cornfield is. Until then, bye.